Hi Upper East Siders, Gossip Girl here. I wonder if you guys even know Gossip Girl at this age, but uh, if you guys do, this video will be very entertaining because we're going to bust some myths about emissions using Gossip Girl as a sample because we see a lot of cool things there, right? And if you haven't watched Gossip Girl, I highly recommend it's watch Gossip Girl. <laughs> So the first thing I want to talk about is cheating during SATs. Mm -hmm. So SATs are all the rage right now for juniors and seniors mm -hmm. that have just finished their SAT. Well, in Gossip Girl, there's that scene where um, Chuck Bass and Serena pay somebody to take the test for them. Mm -hmm. So Serena got a little too drunk the night before mm -hmm. and Chuck is like, I got you sister. Mm -hmm. And he pays somebody to take the SAT. Mm -hmm. So in reality, is this SAT even possible? No, uh, it, it did happen though back in the days on like the Varsity Blue scandal and whatnot where they did like pay someone or like they did some other things to kind of cheat their way into their SAT. So basically now though, it's different because it's now digital, right? In Gossip Girl, it was like back in the old days when we did the whole paper and pencil thing, if you guys remember that. <laughs> so now it's digital, you have to have some photo IDs. There's a lot more security checks for you. So this is, I mean, if you really want to, you know, do something and like cheat your way in, I'm pretty sure it can be done. But technically, it's going to be very hard to do. And keep in mind, even with the Varsity Blue scandal back in 2019, the important thing is that they got caught. Yeah. And that's like millions of dollars mm -hmm. and they still got caught. Mm -hmm. So we don't recommend this. This is very original, I guess, but also very illegal. Mm -hmm. And colleges take academic integrity very seriously. So even just like a hint of a rumor that you cheated can be very serious on your academic record. Mm -hmm. It's not just for SAT. If someone can rat you out about how you have cheated your way into admissions, that's going to trigger uh, probably an investigation. Don't cheat your way in, let's be honest, and study for the CT. <laughs> okay, topic two. So this is a big thing in Gossip Girl because a lot of their parents are like Ivy Leaguers, yeah. right? <laughs> there's the whole idea of legacy admissions. So there's this whole thing about how Nate's gonna get into Dartmouth and how Blair is gonna get into Yale mm -hmm. because their parents went there and how Serena's gonna go to Brown and mm -hmm. all this thing. Mm -hmm. Well, is it really that important and that influential that your parents went to that school? Well, in terms of legacy preference, yeah, that's real and it's going to have some kind of a boost, but it doesn't guarantee admission in any way. Yeah, and I also think it's important to say, if your parents went to Yale graduate school, you applying to Yale as an undergrad is gonna be a very different process. Mm -hmm. Grad school versus um, undergrad admissions are completely different mm -hmm. and it doesn't give you that boost as much as you think. Mm -hmm. And just because your parents or grandparents have went to that school doesn't mean you automatically get like a legacy boost. Mm -hmm. It's only if your parents or whoever is your legacy um, have actively been involved at the school. For example, like donating a lot, not just thousands, but like a big sum of money to the institution to get that like a little bit of a boost. Yeah, like if you have a library with your last name on it, that might give you a boost. Yeah. But even then, if you did a lot of issues in high school, mm -hmm. like you won't get in. Like in Gossip Girl, Blair mm -hmm. actually doesn't end up going to Yale because she, um, did some questionable things, uh -huh. right? Um, I think all of them did some questionable yeah, things. True. So legacy, think of it as more like a tiebreaker. It's not a golden ticket to get you into a school, especially a very competitive school like mm -hmm. the Ivy Leagues. Yeah, so if you have two of the similar applications and they're wondering like which one to choose, like you having that tag as a legacy can give you a little bit of an advantage, but it's not going to be like that deal breaker for you. Okay, so the third topic I have has to do with Penelope and the gang. So like Blair's girls. Mm -hmm. So they always seem to pay or just mm -hmm. take like photo shoots mm -hmm. in front of their community um, service mm -hmm. hours. They don't actually do anything. Mm -hmm. They just take pictures with like cupcakes and with little mm -hmm. kids to be like, oh look, I was at a community service. Mm -hmm. So I'm just gonna call this fake community mm -hmm. service. So let's kind of talk about how like um, staging photos, forging signatures, that kind of things work. Well, if again, it's like any other ways of cheating your way into the game. Like uh, if you want to do it, you probably can't. But again, there's still a lot of measures to cross check these things. So you will get caught. <laughs> and it's also like risk management, right? Mm -hmm. Do you really want to risk your whole admissions chance by saying you did a cupcake drive, yeah. even though all you did was take a photo and mm -hmm. anybody can report you as well. Mm -hmm. And usually when you cheat your way into the game, it's a little bit weird because you do the same thing every year. So if you have done a cupcake drive, drive for 100 hours every single year in high school, it's probably going to raise some red flags. And these are all important because colleges, you think colleges are just gonna be like, okay, that's good and just pass it over. They can call 
they can cross check, they can verify. You do have to, there's like check boxes on Common App where um, you approve that they can do these things. So if they feel like they wanna verify something, they will call that organization. And a lot of that is happening because there's um, a lot of scams where I heard uh, there's a lot of fake high schools that people are making up with fake grades, fake transcripts, fake everything to get into these schools. So now I think NYU has like an investigation team where they will actually investigate these things and then you know they caught all those fake schools it actually happens a lot in korea too a lot of the schools that are not officially accredited mm -hmm. by the u.s like they're sanctioned like they have weird grade inflations mm -hmm. they make up their own grading system mm -hmm. and it's like every single student has like a 4.0 mm -hmm. well that just doesn't make sense in the realm of things and they make up their ecs they even like buy sat scores mm -hmm. so then and then when they get to college they do horribly mm. so then they get almost blacklisted mm -hmm. colleges are like oh you're from this school your gpa must be fake yeah. things like that uh -huh. so it comes with a lot of risk we just don't think it's uh, worth the mm -hmm. the hassle colleges are not that dumb you guys they're actually very smart <laughs> okay uh, ooh, one of my favorite scenes so um well technically it's serena but nate gets blamed for throwing an after-school party at the school he kind of mm. stole the janitor's key and mm. then unlocked the swimming pool mm. and had a huge party with mm. booze underage drinking mm. after school without anybody knowing mm. and he gets a suspension for it mm. so how do detentions and suspensions and these kind of records mm. work in real life yeah, I mean, all of, yeah, he gets detention, suspension, whatever, but then, like, doesn't he still get into NYU? Yeah, I thought that was really weird, too. Mm -hmm. Like, same with Blair. Like, he, she kind of crashed, like, Dean Barry's party mm -hmm. and, like, all that issue, but somehow they all get into NYU. Mm -hmm. So I, I think that's another point that's worth mentioning. They kind of almost pass off NYU as this inferior school mm -hmm. that's really easy to get into, that, like, mm -hmm. all these kids with issues can go mm -hmm. into before they transfer to Ivy's. But, guys, NYU accepts less than 8% of their class. Mm -hmm. Back in 2024, um, their yeah. acceptance rate was actually 8%. Yeah. So if you have a suspension history, chances are you're not getting into NYU. Yeah. So any of these like disciplinary actions, a lot of the colleges are asking if you have any and you have to say yes or no. And if it's yes, you do have to explain what those are. So you will have to explain. Yeah. <laughs> and like, I just want to put it out there that none of the schools in the top 30 list are going to be anybody's safety. Mm -hmm. Like none of them have an uh, acceptance rate that's greater than like 15, 20%. Mm -hmm. So no matter who you are, um, what your grades are, they cannot be your safety schools just because of how selective they are. Mm -hmm. Colleges do ask about disciplinary history. Every single supplement mm -hmm. is going to be like, hey, did you ever have these issues with the law, with the school, with the record? Mm -hmm. And you have to be honest, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. But then like things like, you know, the little bit of detention and stuff, that's not going to be a big deal. But if it's like on your record for a suspension or expulsion or whatever the case is, even criminal activity, you do have to, you know, yeah. expose that. So if you were caught like running in the hallway and you have a detention, that's fine. Mm -hmm. But let's say you got like a plagiarism deal. Oh, that's big. Plagiarism yeah. is big, not only in like admissions, but just in college or institutions in general. Um, so if you get any of those on your record, it's going to be very hard. Yeah, I know everyone uses AI, everyone uses ChatGPT, and I'm not telling you not to use ChatGPT. I'm just saying double, triple check your work. Don't just copy paste everything ChatGPT says. It sometimes says written by ChatGPT at the end. Mm -hmm. So it's just mm -hmm. like, like do your common sense, do your d due diligence, and be careful with your use of AI. And with the whole AI dilemma, I want to just reiterate that colleges know what a 17 year old's writing or essay style looks like. If it sounds like like somebody who's 60 years old wrote it, they're gonna flag it. And I know even in Gossip Girl, they do purchase essays, but mm -hmm. ghostwriting is illegal, mm -hmm. as with SATs, as with grades. Buying something like that is illegal. Mm -hmm. And I just wanna put that out there. You have no idea what that other person write. Mm -hmm. How do you even know if they're good? Mm -hmm. You guys have a lot of trust in ChatGPT, but how do you know if they wrote well? Mm -hmm. So I'm just saying, if it's an important essay, it's an important grade, do your part in it. Yeah, and then it's not just about Gossip Girl, it's like real deal situations in our recent um, years. So back like a few months ago, Yale already um, kicked a student out yeah. for the student allegedly lying on their application and things like that. So it still happens. And we know a lot of schools that are actually blacklisted from institutions because they have a history of disintegrated high schools who fake things or do these like illegal actions 
actions or um, their students tend to do that a lot and then you know they get blacklisted so it's real it's not just gossip girl i mean gossip girl does dramatic uh does exaggerate things and there are things that cannot be done in real life <laughs> like getting into a very very prestigious school with suspensions and all of that unless you have like yeah. something but anyways um yeah gossip girl can teach us a lesson and hopefully you guys can go watch it on netflix and see how great the show is still I, I do want to point out that Gossip Girl does do one thing right is that it's not just about the grades and things mm. like that it's about character and mm. it's about growth yeah. I think that's very important because a lot of these characters start out as very spoiled children mm. that can do nothing on their own mm. but they grow up to be true characters mm. they grow up to have these personalities and that growth shows and that's how they end up becoming more successful mm. to, to colleges mm -hmm. for in life in general and I want to just show that that is really important mm -hmm. All right, these are all the lessons we learned from Gossip Girl, all the myths that we busted. We hope that was entertaining for you in this holiday season. Um, and I have to do this because I've been wanting to do this like my whole life. Um, XOXO, Gossip Girl. Gossip Girl.